Hello, hello, Deborah Berry here, casually dressed for you today. And today, I want to share with you something that I can't believe happened to me. And that is, when did I become a Birkenstock convert? <laughs> I'm going to leave you with that thought for a minute. Let me sit down. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome, welcome back. You know, today it is raining, 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 cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. I go, let me go make a video because something's got to perk up this day. I haven't even had breakfast. I'm drinking my, I don't know, do you drink kombucha? Am I saying it right? Kombucha, the cherry. Love this stuff. It gives me a little buzz. I don't know why. Mm. Excuse me. I was a little, a little thirsty. Anyway. I, I've been great. How you been, ladies? I just want to talk about, a while back, one of my uh, viewers, one of my subscribers and followers, asked me about shoes, you know. Well, well, you should talk about shoes. And I am one of those shoe ladies, you know. Ladies, we love shoes. I love shoes. But I cannot talk about shoes without talking about the dreaded plantar fasciitis. If you've had that, you know my pain. I have had plantar fasciitis in each foot. And so debilitating, so uncomfortable, excuse me, so depressing. But, and the first time I got it, I didn't know what was going on. I remember walking around work talking about foot and doing this and, and other people going, oh, I had that. I talked to someone else. I said, I got this plantar fasciitis. Oh, yeah, too bad. I had that. About the time, third time someone said I had it, it dawned on me that they keep saying had. So it's going to go away. It's going to go away. Oh, it's like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I just realized I sat down and didn't put my rings on. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so... I got through it with the first, my right foot, you know, went to the doctor and he said, yeah, that's what you have. Do these exercises. Gave me muscle relaxants. And I don't like taking pills. And I remember I went back a month later and he says, so you've been doing your stretches? I go, yeah. You've been taking the muscle relaxant? I say, when I need it, yeah. He said, no, I want you to take those every day. I just looked at him because I'm not taking anything every day. Any pain medication, stuff like that not going to happen. So I didn't go back to him and I set those muscle relaxants in the cabinet someplace. But eventually, you know, and I don't realize when it went away. It was just gone. And then it got in my left foot, which was probably maybe a year later or so. It was really, it was the worst. I'm just going to read you uh, what plantar fasciitis is if you've never heard of it. And it's all age groups. I can't blame it on being old or anything. Athletes get it. Dancers get it. People get it. And it says, it's an inflammation of a thick band of tissue that connects the heel bone to the toes. The inflamed tissue runs across the bottom of the foot. There's a fascia muscle that runs from your foot to here. And some of the, some of the treatment is a shot in the bottom of your foot. Like, no, I'm not getting any needles. But I just did the stretches and looked at a million YouTube videos and um, I couldn't wear any shoes. I could not wear any, all shoes hurt, everything hurt. So this one wonderful coworker, she was wonderful. I can't remember her name now, but she said, this is what I want you to do. She said, get you a pair of Birkenstocks. And that's what you put on when you step out of bed Make sure that's what you put your feet in first thing in the morning. I said, really? Birkenstock, those ugly shoes? I could, they're the ugliest shoes in the world. It don't make your foot look good. Don't make your outfit look good. I said, Birkenstocks? But at that point, I was desperate. So I went on to the store, you know, and I bought two pair of Birkenstocks. And they were still ugly to me but I was desperate so I started wearing them and they they helped 
it really helped my foot. I could, you know, secure and I'm telling you now, I've been wearing Birkenstocks and that was 20, 2019, early 2019. I, but I got the Birkenstocks, changed my life. <laughs> changed my life. I'm here to tell you, changed my life. And I am a Birkenstock lover now. And they're still ugly, mind you. But they work. You know, they're comfortable. You can, you know, dress them up as best you can. I'm going to show you. I'm going to, I have some, I'm going to put on some and put some outfits on to show you how you can just look really styling with your Birkenstocks. Because I'm telling you, this is me. I have some shoes over here. This is the kind of sandals I like. A nice, delicate, and this is a pair of my old favorites. Love that sandal. I've got those. Show you these that I truly adore. Little floral T strap. You know, beautiful. Got these at DSW. These are the Nanette, Nanette Lepore. Am I saying that right? Anyway, it's fabric, it's floral, it's a T strap. Uh, let's see. I brought a few pairs in here. Now, these I could wear because of the platform and I can secure it around my foot. That's a comfortable shoe that's not a Birkenstock and I can wear that comfortably even you know during that and this pair it took me a while it's, it's flat there's no support but isn't that the cutest cutest little blush sandal and I can still wear these now after but doing plantar <laughs> no but I can wear these not for long periods of time but going to a function I could I could wear them you know and um so I have a couple of new pairs. I have a white pair of Burks that I've had getting dirty. Okay, we're gonna put those on. I have a, a bronze pair that's sitting over there that I wear every day around the house like a house shoe. <laughs> and these I just recently got. I was gonna try this with the three straps. I was debating on taking these back because my foot's narrow and I have to put the straps over, but it's doing pretty good. And I have this pair I just bought. Now this pair is not as horrendous as the others. And when I say horrendous, I mean big clunk of the clunk. But it um, seems to be holding well. I'm, I'm gonna put some on, I'm gonna put some on with each one of these to give you an idea, including what I have on now. So we're gonna do that. And uh, I'll do the little fashion show for you and show you how I style my Burks and how I'll tell anybody, you need a pair of Birkenstocks. I've been telling my sister, and she's like, those ugly shoes? No, okay. I know, I know what you're talking about, because that's what I said. But, excuse me, but uh, they're not ugly to me anymore. When your feet hurt, it is the worst feeling in the world. And ladies, I know you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to set up, put some outfits together. This is one of them, and we'll I'll show the, this outfit with these casual, and I'll, I'll do just three outfit changes for you to give you an idea of of how I wear my Burks and why I love my Burks and how you can too. Give them a try. Okay, bye. Okay, look number one. This is what I have on. It's just a casual ruffle top vest, very old, and my little pants you know which I usually wouldn't wear these pants with this top I should, would usually wear a slender pant but I'm trying to just do a funky funky bohemian look and I have on the Burks with the straps and it makes for a good look good comfortable I mean you know you can go shopping you can go to lunch and you're still okay and your feet are comfortable Comfortable, comfortable. I'm trying to get back so you can get a whole complete view. But there it is, ladies. Classic, simple, and pretty. Okay, next. Okay. We have on floral and white. A great outfit to wear out. And little white Birkenstocks. They can work. I know they're not the cute, delicate little 
strappy sandal. I have beautiful white sandals. But when you get that plantar or you're going to be walking and you want to be comfortable, put on some Burks. Put on some Burks and say, I am ready. I'm stylish regardless. So it's just simple, simple, simple. You can twirl and and you're ready. And it's Birkenstock, wear them, make them fashionable. And you, you bring your personality into it, ladies, and you can wear the Burks with any kind of outfit. Right. One more to show you, okay? Bye. All right, white, always right. You cannot go wrong with white. And I have on my little T-strap Burks. I love these and they feel so secure on my foot. I feel like my foot is being supported and nice, a little kick up. And I have on my big white skirt, my favorite Kate Spade skirt. You've seen it before, but look at this. And I just put on a white t-shirt, little flower, put the shades on. We have to talk about this sun visor. Is it not thebomb.com? I got this last summer at Ann Taylor on the site, real cheap. I have to show you the back. It has this bowl-like in the back. I think it is adorable. It is so, so cute. And that's all it is. It's just that right there. But works well with my Burks. You know, I could wear my bone colored sandals in there and look really cute, but it works good enough with the Burks. Right, ladies? You can put the Burks on and go anywhere. I'm telling you. And they have some two-tone ones now. They're pink and tan. I want those. I want those. And they have some black ones, too. And I probably should get a black pair. And they have them in red, too. But it's like, how many pair of Burks do you need? So I try to get the neutral so I can wear them with everything. But hey, ladies. You're ready to go in your burps, twirl and be beautiful and be comfortable on top of that. Just be comfortable in your Birkenstocks. So let's do it, ladies. Get you some burps. Be a burp convert like me. <laughs> a burp convert. I am. I am aware of Birkenstocks regardless of this classic, simple, pretty. You know, maybe Chanel wouldn't have burps on. Who knows? But keep it classic, keep it simple, and it's always pretty. Love you, ladies. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun doing it. And you know when I play in the closet, it's always a fun day. And we're going to do more of that. And all the outfits I had on today are things I've all, I already have in my closet. I haven't shopped or bought anything new. And maybe we'll explore more in my closet because I have lots of things I can show you and things that I need to try to figure out how to put together. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. A little goodbye twirl. And thank you for spending some time with me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye. Well, I hope I gave you some good ideas on how to wear your Burks. I hope maybe I converted you too to some Birkenstock. Or perhaps you already were a Birkenstock wearer, lover, you know, and they're great shoes. And until next time, ladies, remember, you must be the change you want to see in yourself. And hey, if we can take a Birkenstock, you know, if we can take a Birkenstock and make it classic, simple, and even pretty, hey, we are all the way together, right? So, uh, as always, ladies, you know what I always say, keep it classic, Keep it simple, and it's bound to be pretty. See you next week. Bye.